Hello oh guys, it's me, your boy, Lord Triton, and today we'll be talking about the Kel White allegation. So Kel White is a um, YouTuber. He's from what I can see, I don't I don't want I never watched his content before. He's a meme commentary YouTuber kind of make um, covers memes and like does somewhat commentary videos. He's kind of like another meme list kind of from what I've seen on his channel. I don't really watch a lot of his content. I've never watched his content before. I've heard of him, but like I've never watched his content. I'm not subbed to him. Never really knew the guy, known the guy, or known his content or his channel. But that's not what's here to talk about today. Today we'll be talking about some serious allegations that have happened on him. So yesterday, an account called um, Naya's Putin. Vegas number one defender has came out with a twit longer title. I refuse to be silent any longer. Lead here. Now, I'm not gonna go over the whole twit longer because it's 50 pages long, and I'm not gonna read like 50 pages a twit longer. You know, I hate reading, but I'm gonna summarize it because I've read through it. So basically, you know, talks about you know. They got raped, they say, they claim they got raped by Kiwit in the back of the car and they've told him it hurt, they didn't want it, and he basically kept on doing it, and they got raped. And then they got silenced by Kiwit, and you know, the relationship between them and Kiwit was toxic, and they were like underage, and Kiwit was overage, and basically, you know, Kiwit raped them, and um, the relationship was toxic and stuff. Now, we, now y'all might be thinking. Triton, where's the evidence to this? I want to show you the evidence they have given to prove that this guy is a rapist and what they said is true. So these are the messages they've shown. This is the evidence. Just them, um, basically, you know, seems like, um, them just being cordial and talking and them, like, knowing how it, this is like, 2018, 2017. These messages right here don't really um, prove anything at all. Or literally anything um, at all. Anything sexual, nothing. It's just them saying, What's your family doing because we hang out the whole time we're empty? Him making, you know, sexual jokes and stuff. But other than that, you know, that's it. So yeah, those messages, the evidence they've shown, don't really prove anything. They don't really prove that um what they're saying is true, that Coward is 100% guilty. Now, am I saying that the victim is 100% lying? No. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying, you know, that they're lying on him. Because, yeah, you know, rape is hard to prove sometimes. But they at least need to have something, like messengers or something, you know? Like, just that alone is not enough to say, hey, he's guilty. You know? Really isn't. That alone is not enough to say, hey, Kawa is guilty. Kawa is guilty. No, it's not enough. We need to hear Kawa's side to this. To see what he has to say about it. Now, according to some people, apparently he's deleted his Discord server. Which, what I found funny is some Twitter user... Claiming that he's deleted his Discord account, but he'll let me show you the proof that they said he deleted his Discord account. This dude called Vixum said, Kyrit has recently deactivated his Discord account. This combined with the lack of response, his mod going crazy, his mods going crazy, the allegations itself, it's literally not looking good for Kyrit. It's just a profile picture of Kyrit literally having the red thing. It says, add friend. That does not prove that he deactivated his Discord account, you idiot. That doesn't prove that he deactivated his Discord account at all. And even if he did, yeah, it's not looking good. But it's not 100% proven that Kawit did it. Really isn't. That's the thing, you know, Kawit, if you're somehow watching this, I would just respond, give your side... If you're guilty, then definitely, like, you know, just leave the internet and never come back. But if you actually aren't innocent, just respond to it and just move on. 
No, because from base, what the thing is, you know, like I believe in the thing called innocent till proven guilty. And right now, as of now, I'm not saying this is permanent. I'm just saying as of now, he looks innocent. Just like the boy in the band situation. There's barely any evidence with the boy in the band situation. But we, because boy in the band has been gone for so long. Um, because he's been gone for like a while. We've never got to hear his side. So basically, um, because he's already been gone from the internet for so many years. And then the allegations came out on him. And he just never responded. Probably because he doesn't care enough to respond. Because he's left the internet for a while. And he's not going to come back. So, yeah, you know, Boy in the Band hasn't responded. So all we have is just the victim's word and, you know, the fact that it's innocent till proven guilty. But, like, Kawa isn't someone that's been active. So Kawa can definitely give his side. But that's the thing, you know. If he doesn't give a side, he doesn't give a side. There's nothing we can really do about it. But that's the thing. Like, the problem I have, though, is, of course, the comp. Of course, the commentary community. Of course. Our favorite community that we love to meme on. There's already a bunch of you stupid commentary channels jumping on to this allegation. It's like it's proven. Like it's facts. Like this dude is canceled. The only one, which I'm going to show the screenshot of this, of all these titles. The only one that has actually covered this right. So far as I've seen, besides the only one that the only ones is Crow and Jalen so far. Crow and Jalen. Crow's a judgment and Jalen. Those are the only ones that did not jump on the gun that did not jump the gun. And I think Mr. Sen too. Only once. Other than that, everybody else is just jumping on the gun. Like this these allegations are facts. Like, look at these screenshots real quick. Kiwi just got cancelled. Kiwi got exposed. Cancel. YouTuber Kiwi just got exposed. Kiwi. Life ruining allegations. AC Jalen's video, the Kawa allegations, and then Kiwi just got exposed. Kiwi raped a 14 year old boy. Kiwi exposed. Carrot got exposed. The carrot allegations are horrible. Yeah, you see all these commentary channels, Pegasus, Sense of Society, and a bunch of these other people who have big platforms, by the way, are just saying, yeah, these allegations are facts, guys. Let's go cancel Carrot. Carrot just got canceled. There's literally one video that said Carrot raped a 14 year old. Like, and there's no evidence. There's no evidence. I'm sorry. I know, like, People be like, oh, Triton, how dare you say there's no evidence. There's just no evidence. He wasn't proven guilty. Now, I'm not saying that means the victim's lying. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying, especially as commentary channels, we got to not just jump the gun like this, okay? We cannot just jump the gun. Let's say it comes out, yeah, he is guilty. Okay, he's guilty. Yeah, go get them. Once it's proven guilty, I'll make videos saying he's guilty and he needs to go. But until then, even if, like, let's say he is guilty, before you see the evidence, you got to. You got to be neutral about it. You got to have a neutral coverage. You can't just say, oh, he's 100% innocent or, oh, he's 100,000% guilty, guys. Let's get rid of him. Let's get him off the internet. No, you can't do that. You can't cancel a guy off the internet with baseless claims like this that have no evidence. These claims right now have no evidence. The only messages they've shown don't prove nothing. They've proved nothing. Like, I just don't believe that he's guilty until more evidence comes up. Just like the boy in the band situation. The boy in the band situation... The accusers never even came out with any evidence. Any evidence at all. And people just... The same people that are going after Kerwit believe that. Without, and we'll never probably hear a boy in the band's side. Because that dude's off the internet forever. Because he's probably trying to get a life. 
He's probably working on his real life and doesn't care about the internet. Which, good for him. Good for him. Good for boy in the band. You know, working on his mental issues. Good for you. Good for him. That's the thing, too. Cowit is probably don't even know what to say right now. Because that's the thing. Cowit just sees this, all these commentary channels just making videos like he's guilty. A hundred percent. It's like, bro. Like, that's the thing. Like, bro, like, I hope he responds and disproves it. Or at least gives his side. So that way we have something to work on his defense. But until he gives a side, or even if he gives a side, we can't say he's 100,000% guilty. Okay? That's just dangerous to do. Especially y'all stupid idiot big commentary channels that have a lot of audiences that have most of the commentary community on the side, that have most of the popular opinion, that control the popular opinion, just making videos like he's guilty. It's like, no, you cannot jump the gun like that, guys. I can't believe you guys are jumping the gun. Like, no. Y'all cannot be jumping the gun like that. Like, I just can't believe y'all stupid commentary channels that claim to have good morals, that claim to get everything right, just jump on allegations. Remember when y'all, the same people, jumped on the pyro train, said that pyro cynical was guilty, then comes out that he was innocent? Which, yeah, like, like, him doing the role play thing. Yeah, that was proven. But the grooming thing was proven false. And y'all kept to jump on the thing. Oh, he's a pedo. He's a groomer. No. Like, y'all literally jumped on those allegations. I thought you would learn. But no, y'all did not learn at all. Did you? Y'all did not learn at all from that situation. Because you're doing it now. What if Kiwit makes a video? Today or tomorrow or some... Someday, like, once he responds, he just proves it. It makes y'all look like shit. What y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna make retraction videos and say y'all were wrong and you guys are sorry. And, oh, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry for jumping on this train. I'm sorry, guys. You know, I'll do better. No, you won't. Because if y'all did not learn from the power situation and the other situations and the comic cars situation, you're not gonna learn from this situation. Y'all need to do better. Seriously. That's why I just don't really like a lot of commentary channels. Because you guys jump on the gun. A lot of you commentary channels jump on the gun. And say, oh, he's guilty. He's guilty. This person's guilty. 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 Just for clicks and views. Because y'all want to get the story out first. Y'all don't care about getting the story right. Y'all don't. Because if y'all did, you guys would not be jumping out in the gun and just saying someone's guilty. When you don't even, you haven't even heard the side yet. The allegations have only been out like not even a day when y'all made those videos. Y'all literally, as soon as it came out, y'all said he was guilty. Without even giving him time to give his side. Who knows? Maybe he doesn't want to give his side. Because he, um, I don't know. They, no, probably thinks that you guys are just not going to care about his side because y'all are already jumping the gun. Maybe he's just done. You know? Y'all don't think that? Y'all don't think that y'all jumping the gun like this makes people not want to give the side out? out? Because y'all probably not going to believe it anyways. Y'all don't think that? Maybe, um, do y'all have, have a thought that, um, Boy in the Band has not came back and given the side to those allegations because y'all idiots jumped on the gun and said he was guilty? Y'all haven't realized that? That maybe a lot of these creators just... Like, once these allegations happen to them, that instead of just disproving it and going through a whole arc of just fighting with you people, that they just give up and leave. Because there's no point of trying to disprove anything because you guys are bad, faithful actors. Y'all don't realize that? Because I do. I really hope Kiwit does get enough guts and disproves y'all and makes y'all look like fools. So a lot of people can actually see what people like myself have been saying for years. That the commentary community are just bad faith people that don't care. That will just get a, sto like get a story out and get it trending and doesn't care. 
about the facts. I really hope, K-Wit, if you are innocent, if you really are innocent, you disprove these people. If you're not innocent, if you actually did the crime, you should be in jail. And I really hope the victim, if you're watching this, go to the police. Go to the police and get your justice. You know, go to the police, get your justice. Get the justice that you deserve if this is true. But I'm not going to say if this is true or false. Because I don't know. I haven't even heard his side yet. You know, you already have the, all these commentary channels just jumping the gun. Like, bro. What is wrong with y'all? Y'all couldn't have credibility. But look at y'all. Another story. Jumping the gun. Just like y'all did with every single situation. Y'all just jumping the gun. Because it gets y'all clicks. What is wrong with you guys? Anyways, it's been me, your boy, Lord Triton. What do you think about the situation? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you if you like the video, hit the like button. If you dislike the video, hit the like button anyways because, because this like button is gone. It's been me, your boy, Lord Triton. I'm signing out. Peace.